Hi guys. Well, up until 15 minutes ago, it was a spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking an over the top beautiful day here in the end times. Starting to crap out a little bit here on Thanksgiving Day 2023. It is Thursday, November 23rd. 2023 and uh, I am heading over I'm heading out into the swamp to join my buddy who uh, his buddy just delivered him about 10 pounds of fresh alligator yesterday so we're foregoing the turkey and we're having a true Florida Thanksgiving and uh, we're having alligator for our Thanksgiving dinner and I I always thought it was the tails that they ate but my buddy uh, assures me it is the jowls that alligator jowls are like the they call them freshwater scallops this was a 10 foot 3 inch alligator that his buddy pulled out of the swamp so we're going to have freshwater Florida freshwater scallops otherwise known as gator jowls for uh, our Thanksgiving dinner so uh, <clears throat> I was sitting out on my dock this morning when it was a spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful day sitting there in absolute paradise you know you know the dock so just you know trying to play it straight uh trying to play it straight about what i am thankful for here and the in late 2023 and I got to say, guys, I mean, all joking aside, what came up, I, you know, I put it to the pendulum. What are you thankful for? And uh, I don't know about you, but uh, in general, <clears throat> I am thankful for global industrial civilization and in particular fossil fuels that I uh, am giving thanks and saying a prayer to uh, fossil fuels and global industrial civilization, which, you know, w without fossil fuels and global industrial civilization, I, I really try to think of what my life would look like. Well, of course, there's about a 99% chance I would be dead by now that I never would have seen 64 that the human lifespan is I think 37 years so I would have died I don't know 25 years ago without all of the perks of global industrial civilization but you know not even counting that uh, you know so I'm, I'm sitting on that dock <clears throat> drinking that cup of coffee I you know I rode down there in my gator in my gas powered gator cause I was too fucking lazy to walk two blocks cause I don't want to carry my chair you know my made in China chair that was brought over here on a giant container ship uh, you know drinking coffee that was grown <clears throat> not sure where the coffee I'm drinking was grown probably somewhere like I don't know Peru you know some Latin American country and, and shipped here on a giant container ship and put into an 18 wheeler and shipped to the to the store where I took my gas sucking truck to buy it and bring it back and uh, so without global industrial civilization well number one I, well, where do you start well I would not uh, be drinking a cup of coffee a anybody 
you know, more than what, 50 miles outside of coffee growing regions would not be drinking coffee. Uh, it just would not exist in my life. Starting there, I, uh, I, I wouldn't have the chair uh, without global industrial civilization and fossil fuels. That beautiful dock that I was sitting on would not be there. It would not exist without global industrial civilization and fossil fuels. That, you, you, you know, probably that dock used to be a beautiful cypress tree. Uh, for instance, and uh, you know, somebody took a gas powered chainsaw out into the cypress swamp, cut down the uh, cut down the tree, uh, hauled it back to the sawmill on a big truck. Uh, they powered up the sawmill to turn it into the dock boards, you know, uh, where that story is going. There would be no dock. Uh, there would be no road to the dock. There would be no way to get to the dock that wasn't there to sit in a chair that would not be there to drink a cup of coffee that would not be there without fossil fuels and global industrial civilization. Uh, which is the main reason I would not be there. I, I would not be in the state of Florida uh, if uh, where you know where the hell would I be? You know, I was I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I guess I I would have probably been within 10 miles uh, of where I was born 64 years ago, uh, assuming that, that I had lived uh, 64 years, I would probably be living uh, within 10 miles uh, of, the, of the place I was born. I never would have traveled the world. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I mean, was Christopher Columbus traveling the world I guess he was before fossil fuels, but that was, uh, you know, this global industrial civilization, they're always talking about, what, like 1750? Well, I think we need to turn the fucking clock back to 1492. Uh, they were, uh, is, is when this goddamn uh, paradigm went global uh, and, and we came over here to fuck up this hemisphere, you know, as don't get me off on a, uh, on a noble savage rant on Thanksgiving, uh, you know, Honky came over here, uh, and damn 1492, uh, to, to, to finish off the mess that the original invaders from Asia ha had inflicted uh, on this damn hemisphere, and it's been and it's been uh, depending on which side of the fence you're on. If you're on the human side of the fence, it, it it's been all uh, you know partying like it's 1492. Uh, right on up till today, and if you're on the fellow Earthling side of the fence, and so here we are, uh, we are at the very top of the uh, of the bell curve. Uh, we are at the pinnacle, uh, right before the uh, you know the Seneca Cliff that we're teetering over. Uh, because, you know, everything, uh, every single thing we do, what I was doing last night, you know, I recorded a little video, uh, I was taking the same drive that I'm taking right now to uh, go pick up a goddamn washer and dryer uh, from a goddamn storage shed. I, you know, I, I, I live in fucking Florida. I live in the Sunshine State. 
and I was out buying a clothes dryer. I, I don't think I have seen one clothesline uh, in the state of Florida since I got here three weeks ago. Uh, you do not see laundry hanging on lines anymore. Uh, I, I'm living on almost an acre of land. I, you know, it would take me uh, five minutes to put up a damn clothesline. And would, uh, you know, take me about five minutes to put my clothes out on it and take it back. But hell no. I, I've got a clothes dryer and now the goddamn 220 plug uh, doesn't fit the outlet. And we're going through all of this goddamn drama to get the, uh, to get the 220 plug. Uh, to, to, to fit the fucking outlet so I can have electricity to uh, dry my clothes uh, in the sunshine state because I'm too fucking lazy like everybody else in this state to string up a fucking clothesline. And, 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 and I'm a goddamn doomer. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I, I honestly don't know if the power uh, serving this trailer is coming from the nuclear power plant in Crystal River. Aaron, is where are we getting our power from? Is it from that goddamn nuclear power plant? Here is the dump that I uh, Mount Trashmore that I have to come visit next week. And, and, you know, and, and dump off uh, more of this goddamn garbage piling up. Uh, you know, one goddamn uh, trailer at the end of a dirt road in Florida. I've already made one trip to the goddamn landfill getting ready to map. I probably have at least six landfill runs out of to get rid of the the garbage out of this one trailer uh and, and i am goddamn thankful uh that there's a landfill there where there used to be a probably a beautiful you know live oak forest like i'm assuming i, I don't know how these beautiful oak trees are still surviving this is what that landfill probably looked like uh, and, and, until a few years ago. They, uh, they just bulldozed every one of these uh, gorgeous, uh, you know, old oaks to, to make room for people's fucking garbage so global industrial civilization can keep chugging along. Uh, I would not be uh, on my way to uh, be eating this alligator uh, without fossil fuels and global industrial civilization. Uh, I don't even I don't I don't know how we're cooking the alligator, uh, but I'm pretty sure it will involve fossil fuels. Uh, and I'm, I'm quite sure that some redneck uh, w w was in a fossil fuel powered boat, uh, and, and he, you know, when he shot this uh, 10 foot gator. But I will be quite happy to uh, eat, eat, eat this alligator. Uh, uh, I mean, fossil fuels and global industrial civilization, I mean, it's allowed, you know, every burger flipper at McDonald's to live, the, you know, King Louis XIV uh, probably would have given his fucking eye teeth to uh, have the luxuries of a uh, McDonald's burger flipper. And, you know, every single aspect uh, of our lives from the, from the moment uh, we wake up in the morning till the, mo the moment we go to sleep at night are, are made possible by fossil fuels uh, fueling uh, global industrial civilization. 
and it, it has, it, it's completely 100% unsustainable. I'm absolutely flabbergasted every morning that I wake up that uh, this shit show is, is still hanging together. I have no clue, no fucking clue how uh, how this uh, machine, this monster, uh, breathes another day. Every day I wake up, surely, surely, it, it, it fucking collapsed last night, and then it, here I am, 64 years old. And, you know, I went down this fucking rabbit hole 15 years ago. Uh, it, 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 if someone told me 15 years ago, uh, you know, I, I, I was, well, not convinced, but pretty goddamn sure that this shit was not going to be happening uh, 15 years uh, from when I went down this rabbit hole in 2008, and here we are. We've probably added another billion uh, clueless fucking morons onto this planet, uh, and, and it just goes uh, right along. Just clicking right along. Uh, anyway. So that is what I am thankful for, and uh, I, I, uh, I am thankful for uh, global industrial civilization and fossil fuels every second uh, of my life. It's not one day a year, it's 365 days a year, uh, every second of my goddamn life. You're damn straight. I am a fan of global industrial civilization. The the very thought of uh, uh, of n not having this. Uh, I assume my buddy, who has hopefully temporarily had his driver's license suspended, if he's listening to this. Uh, you know, if, if if I were to lose my driver's license, I would be completely fucked. Completely fucked. Uh, living at the end of that dirt road in a swamp uh, in, in, in Florida. I, I would have no fucking way to, to get to the goddamn grocery. You know, I, I, I well, I... I don't know, can I take the gator to the grocery store? I, I, I mean, that's just losing my driver's license. Uh, would, would, I mean, my life would be ruined. Would be ruined. Uh, if, if, if not for this uh, gas-sucking truck. And there's the... Uh, see the guys busily at work setting up the Christmas tree lot. I am... So I guess the Optimist Club Christmas tree lot in Austin, Texas is opening tomorrow. Good fucking God. How many years was I working for the Optimist Club Christmas tree lot in Austin? Was that five years that I made it out there selling those goddamn dead trees to clueless fucking morons? Uh... So I guess it's Black Friday tomorrow, Cyber Monday on Monday. Jesus fucking Christ. Anywho's, that is, uh, this is what I am up to giving thanks in late 2023. Uh, that I am in this gas-sucking truck heading to eat an alligator before it eats me. I highly advise you to get out there and eat a 10-foot alligator for Thanksgiving dinner before it eats you. And uh, get down on your knees and thank whoever you thank uh, for the gift of global 
industrial civilization and fossil fuels. Uh, Jesus. Heading back to my old stomping grounds in Inverness, Florida. Bye, guys.